Hey, Mark Rice here. If you want a fast way to become very good in Illustrator, you're at the right place. Stay tuned. Ok, let's start. I will use rectangle tool, rounded rectangle tool and ellipse tool for this drawing. I will select rounded rectangle tool and draw the basic shape of the face. I will pick the skin color from my palette. If you want to change the size of the shape, just press shift key and drag your mouse up and down. Without the shift key, your shape will be look deformed. Next, I will select the ellipse tool. I will press the shift key and draw the first eye shape. I will use the shape for the other eye part. I will copy it with Ctrl plus C command and paste with Ctrl plus F. It's shortcut for paste in place, which means the new object will appear exactly above the object I want to copy. The new shape will be black. It's time for the eyebrows. I will use rounded rectangle for it. I want that these shapes have the same center. I selected the shapes, but currently don't need the basic shape of the head. So I will press the shift key and deselect the head shape. Here in the line, I will use horizontal align center to create the same center line for these shapes. If you need to turn on the line tools, you can find it here in Windows. I will group the shapes with Ctrl plus G and copy it for the other eye. Now, I will copy the basic shape of the head and use it for the nose. I will decrease the copied shape and darken it a bit. The nose can be even better if I copy the shape one more time, move it a bit and apply the skin color. Now, the nose isn't overexposed, but it's still here. Ok, it's time for the mouth. I will copy the basic shape of the head, decrease it a bit and apply dark red color. I don't need the upper part of the shape, so I will remove it. Just draw a rectangle over the part that you don't need anymore. I will select these two shapes and use minus front tool in Pathfinder. Cool! Now I have the basic shape of the mouth, but I can make it even better if I add a T. So I will draw a white rectangle. Select it together with the mouth shape and use the Y tool in Pathfinder. Now, these parts are separated. I will ungroup the shapes and delete the unnecessary part. That's it! Now, I will draw the hair using the round rectangle and place it here. I will copy the shape, increase it a bit and put the shape just below the head. Just click on the shape with the right mouse button, go to range and select send to back. Ok, now I want to add another shape here. I will use ellipse tool for that. Ok, finally I will draw the ears with the ellipse tool. It is just a simple circle painted with a darker skin color. The head is done! Ha! I will also use the basic shape of the head for the neck. Cool! I will group it and now it's time for the body. I will select the round rectangle tool and draw the central body. I will slightly change the size of it and apply some of my palette colors. It can be red. Now, I will select the rectangle tool and draw the upper part of the pants. Next are the legs. If you want to make the same position for the shapes on the left side, align is perfect tool for that. I will use the already created leg to create the other. For the fit shape, I can use the mouth. Just copy the shape, apply the t-shirt's color and rotate. Ho ho ho! One foot is done and I will simply use it for the other. At the end, I will draw the arms with the round rectangle tool. Now I can make the final touch with the shadow. The character is done. If you want to go further with the hand for example, just press shift and precisely rotate it. 
Now I will draw another round rectangle and that's the thumb. The thumb can be even better if I add a circle. Now I can easily place an object in the character's head. Something like this. That's it, this is the fastest and easiest way to create beautiful character using the geometric forms. If you want to learn more just check out the channel and you will find many useful stuff here. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.